Hey everybody, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Terry. Uh, today's topic is going to be a collective read, but it has to do with like a dysfunctional relationship, probably problems, or we'll delve into everything. Um, somebody needs to know about Florida water and using it to cleanse their energy, especially if you read tarot cards, if you do any type of energy work. And uh, for the most part, I'll just put it on my hands, you know, because that's the part that I use with Terry, right? Okay, so just kind of be careful because it will spill everywhere. Um, you can see how the top is. So, um, but I feel like it worked good to, you know, like cleanse your energy and things. I don't use it often unless I'm told to, so. Um, we're going to be this 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 reading i don't know if it's gonna get toxic or not i already see domestic violence so if you have a trigger warning with these type of topics um i got plenty other videos you all can um you know if you're called to click on them check them out um so i'm gonna go ahead and get right into it oh so how does your apartment how does your partner feel about you right now Okay, we're just going to dive right into it. How they feel about you? They feel like you turn their back or turn their back on you. Constant fuck ups, asshole. So I don't know. I was saying like you, like you did this collective, but I feel like this is your energy. You feel betrayed by this person. Okay, bottom deck to that is the moolah. Money changes them. So yeah, it could be the fact that this person you know, um, I don't know. I'm getting like a jealous energy. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm getting like a jealous energy. Like, like you could have a well-paying job or something, something where you get money and it's like a steady income or whatever. And I don't know. I, I feel like you have your guard up now, but, uh, you didn't in the past and this person money changed them a situation changed them and uh yeah in the head games hmm this person just plays games they want to have you trapped in your head but whole time you know they betrayed you you know they want you stuck you know I'm not getting that. You're stuck, though. Look, you have a new beginning. So it's like, how does your partner feel about you? They feel like they can't manipulate you? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like they can't manipulate you anymore. That's what this is about. Let me get one more. Yeah. The sun. They can't cause you to be all in your head anymore. Playing games, betraying you, because they it was a betrayal here, okay? This person feels like they can no longer manipulate you because whatever it is that brings you happiness, that's what you're doing. You're very resilient as well. I'm getting Leo energy, Oshun energy. Yeah, single and abundant. Because you're single and abundant, collective. No matter what they tried to do to keep you down, you just steadily came back up. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. I want to know how are you annoying them? How are you, like, getting on this person's nerve? I mean, we kind of already see that a little bit where, like, this betrayal. They want to manipulate you. It's like they want to say, I'm getting, like, King of Swords and reverse energy. Like, it's a masculine. But this is a collective read, so it could be masculine or feminine. I want to know, how do you annoy them? Please and thank you. Mm. They say you stuck up. Believe they, they saying, your person is saying, like, you think you too good. Like, you stuck up or whatever. I'm telling you, it's the fact that they're jealous, you know? It's just like, if you got it, you got it. What? what? Why I got to be stuck up? feel sorry for me woe is me so it's like the things it's i'm getting the energy of you may confide in your person right this is the person you were in a relationship with 
So I'm going to confide in you. But this person feels as though the things that you whining, or according to them, that you're whining about. Your problems, they feel like your problems ain't nothing. Yeah, bullshit storyteller. They feel like you played a victim and you just a bullshit storyteller. They ain't falling for it. They don't have no pity on you come to them and you tell them like, oh, babe, my day was messed up. If you can, if you even can. Look, I see you telling them stuff. And it's like you can't tell them nothing. I don't know. I'm getting at this you right here. You know, you trying to fix stuff up or matter of fact, this is probably you right here, the rabbit, because you abundant, you know, single and abundant. And maybe you two have a business together or maybe y'all had kids together. That's what this probably is. And see, you got the blueprint because you you like, all right, after the plant get up there, we're going to fix the, the pinnacles like this. You know, we're going to pay these bills now or we're going to. I don't know, some along them lines. And then here they go, like, but no, scoot it over to this side. Like, just got to be in competition. And it's like, you're not even trying to do nothing. You already abundant on your own. Look at them on your arm. Still calling. Still on your back. I don't know. Let me get one for stuck up, please, and thank you. Yeah, here's that hierophant. It's like this person is over your shoulder a little bit, looking, watching. And you're like, yeah, uh, hey. And they just still looking, not telling you, not saying anything, just judging you. Look, toxic. King of Wands, they want to rush in, rush out, do them. But you're not going for that. You're not going for that. Go to the bathroom. Here we have the star and we have the battle. Five of Wands is like, I'm going to continuously try to fight for my way. Because it's my way or the highway, right? All this person wants to do is put burdens on you. That's all this person wants to do. Hold on one time, y'all. Let me just step away for one second. Sorry about that, y'all. So, this person is toxic. It's their, high, their way or the highway, right? But they feel like you're annoying them. Saying you're stuck up, you're this, that, and the next because you're not falling for, you know, their manipulation. So I want to know, what do they still want from you then? What can this person possibly still want from you? Please and thank you. They're bored. They tired of the same stuff. They want to be entertained. They want you to do some more tricks, collective. Jump through some more hoops. That's what this is about. They're bored. Wow, buying love. That's what I'm saying. Money changes this person. They want to use you. They want to have your abundance, basically. But they need you to have it. Manipulates with money. Keeps you codependent materialistic this person is materialistic they're codependent they're sneaking they're doing online dating you know i don't know let me get some clarification on this board please and thank you hmm. they bored with working with you yeah two cups I don't know. I feel like this person wants more control of the situation. Yeah. What they've built in the back is just a house of cards. You've built something stable. They want what you have. They bored. They tired of having nothing, right? They. This person may even be making it seem like they're going to walk away from you. You know, they may want you to walk away. That could really be it too. 
So they're doing things to make you, I don't know, this person is codependent. It's like, look, they're doing things to manipulate you, keep you stuck. It's like, so you walk away, but then you come back like that. Because mind you, they still want your abundance. They're not going to fully let you go. This person is not going to fully let you go. This is a dysfunctional relationship. I want to know, uh, what is this a person attracted to then? Like, like I just fell out. Mm, online dating. So they're attracted to people that they see online. Instagram models, oh, no talking for days. So it's like they meet somebody online. They don't talk to you for a while. They kind of give you the silent treatment. Mm. There's that seven of cups. All that opportunity, all the things, glitters ain't gold. But look, page of wands, just looking. Mm-mm-mm. This person a goofy. Look, looking around, fishing around, seeing what they can come up on. It's all about them. It's all about their come up. The chariot in reverse, though. Not really going after anything. Just seeing what they can get. You know, what's what's around? Let me look online. Let me see who I could get in this, you know, for my benefit. You know, this person is probably very shallow. Uh, I want to know how can my collective get better? How you know? How can my collective feel better? Please and thank you. Mm, no treats. Harley takes out on dates. A little effort. What you need to do is you need to stop putting all your money and time into this person, and you need to give it into yourself, collective. That's what you can do to feel better. Yep. No trust. Let go of this toxicity that this person has placed on you like they taught you i mean you learned the lesson but you need to start giving back to yourself okay that's what you can do to make yourself feel better all right mm -hmm. work on yourself queen of pentacles that's that abundance give that abundance to yourself okay choose yourself love yourself first and then real love will come to you, okay? Not a dictator. You're going to have justice for this, okay? You're going to have justice. Don't trip. What's the best way for my collective to move forward? That's what I want to know. What's the best way? Caught up. Always gets caught up cheating, lying, secrets. Mm -mm -mm. Stop going for people that... I don't know. Something to happen and you may find out this person gets caught up. That's what we left off with the betrayal. So, you know, pacify. Don't try to pacify the situation, okay? Don't soothe and accommodate and try to make peace with this person. Just move on, okay? Just move on. What's the best way? Let's clarify. Caught up, please and thank you. Yeah, I'm not reading. I mean, I'm not taking all these. But look, stop breadcrumbing. Stop letting people breadcrumb you, okay? Here we have indecision causing chaos. Here we have the world can't expand with them, only giving you heartbreak, okay? Don't put your energy into those people. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Get a real Ace of Cups, okay? Single and abundant until then. That's what I see. Single and abundant until then. So, the message from your higher self is as things start to come in for you, don't kiss and tell. Okay, don't tell all of your business. Um, don't have a guilty conscience either about your blessings that come in for you okay don't let this person from your past or that will be soon in your past manipulate you and give you a guilty conscience about their betrayal that they did wow don't let people in your business please 
because there's a lot of influences, negative, okay? Yeah. Here we have you continuously having things come in. Like, you can be single and abundant, but make sure that your choices don't put you in this Five of Cups energy, okay? Yep. Ten of Swords, because that's the only thing that's going to come of it. And you need clarity. Oh, wow. This is clarity for the month. For the person who played games with you, King of Cups, they could have water in their sign with you working with them and then bread crumbing you. Putting indecision. Yep, 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 yep. Let me get one more. Yeah, they're toxic. This is the karmic. There is a third party. Queen of Swords in reverse. And this person talks a lot. This person may actually contact you. Okay. And that's what's going to be the final straw. This person's going to try to make you feel guilty like you're a person. And the person they betrayed you with is going to deaden the situation. I mean, to the point like you're going to be like, I don't want to talk to this person no more. Not deaden the situation for you like that. But they're just going to talk a lot of shit, kiss and tell. They're going to tell everything that's been going on. Okay. I don't see you staying around for that collective. I want to know what can my collective do? Okay time i was gonna say what can my collective do to usher in new love it's saying you're trying too hard collective what's on the front yeah you're trying too hard you need to heal yourself i see the evil eye here i see protection love you need to give this to yourself collective nurture yourself all right you're trying too hard and give it time all right give it time and do time everything will work out through each other, you find missing pieces. Embrace. No, I'm getting that you're going to embrace yourself. You're going to gather all of those missing pieces, right? That's what I'm getting. You do find the missing pieces, though. You do find the missing pieces. Because it was like it was in this person. You were giving energy to them. You was giving your peace to them. But now you're taking it back, okay? Yeah. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present moment. You're glowing, collective. You're looking good. Lastly, we have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. You're going to give this person some time and you're not going to want to come back. You're not going to come back. Look at you. Look at these butterflies on here. You could be a male or a female, but you're following your intuition and you're going with the flow and you're being more... Oh, look what's on here. Look at this picture. Open up your heart chakra, okay? Don't be closed off, collective. Move forward, okay? If this message resonated with you, please like and subscribe. For all booking information, anything that has to do with Live, Laugh, Love, Tara will be down below in the description box. Until then, peace and love.